Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make my uh, vacation journal. <laughs> We're going on holiday uh, pretty soon. Actually, when I upload this video, I think I'm in Germany. And the week after that, I'll be in Austria. <laughs> um, so I'm filming this two weeks uh, in advance. I saw this little planner or organizer at the action for just 87 cents. That's just ridiculous. And I thought, ooh, this is nice. Oh, let me just take this off. Okay, look at it. It's really cute. It's so 80s. <laughs> and it has two notebooks in it. And it has an envelope and a pocket over here. And I thought, hmm, if I just take out this notebook <laughs> and this notebook, because this paper is just way too thin to use for pictures and stuff. So these I'm going to use for something else. And then I have this left. And actually, you know, I think I'm going to do this one <laughs> myself as well. Because I don't want the craft paper. I want it to have all kinds of cute colors. So this I need to paint. Uh, I think I'm gonna paint... I'm not sure what color I'm gonna paint it. But um, I already have been trying something because I had no idea how to do this. Because if you take this uh, size notebook i think it's just too small to use for a whole day of pictures and stuff uh, i want to take my little sprocket with me it has pictures the size of a uh, well of an atc <laughs> this size i think so i can only put one or two pictures on here and then it's full so i thought this is too small what do i do so i have been working on this <laughs> yesterday and i came up with this so I made one already. I'm going to make the other one if I still know how I did this on camera. So I made this and then you can pull it out just like this. And then you have this for one day with a pink bow in the middle. Oh well. And so the next day you have this and then this one. And then starting here you go the other way. So I thought this would be nice. So this is for seven days. And then you have the back side and over here you have this side. I'll figure something out. I always like to put, um, <laughs> I call it the binge page, stuff we like, the candy and, and, and maybe desserts and stuff we like to eat. I always like to make one page with that. So that might be a really nice last page. So this one is already finished, so I can put it in here. No, I need to paint this first. So I want to show you how I made this. Like I said, if you can still remember. And this I want to paint. Now I took some papers. So I, I did my homework. <laughs> I took some papers. I think I want this to be yellow because I really like yellow with this, these four colors. But this is too small for a book. So, and too small for a cover. So, uh, and this is the only light yellow paper that I have. So, okay, this needs to be painted yellow. And then you have this. I've got a green book. I want to make a pink book or salmon pink and make a blue cover. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So this one is going to be for the next book. So should I just paint this first? And the question is, am I going to take this out? Oh, I can take this out. Because you can just do it like this. So that's easy. And this one I can take out, of course. It'll be easier, won't it? If I can do it, of course. <laughs> because this is a really tight knot. Mm, or shall I just try to paint around it? I'm just going to do that. So I need paint. And I want yellow. So, uh, hmm. Question is, will it stay on here in one layer? And what kind of paint do I use? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, uh, or I can, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I do have this, of course. So I can go over it with white and then with yellow and hope I can mix it a bit. I did that before, a while back. I'm not sure if that's going to work now. <laughs> let's, let's see. We'll just try. Let's just try it. So I'll just start with the white. And have the yellow ready. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Ooh, that's a bit much paint. Mm. Ooh, I love doing this. Altering books. You buy something and then you do something completely different with it. 
I always love to do that. So yeah, this is uh, this needs a couple of layers. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do a white layer first. I think it would be so much more easy if this wasn't here. <laughs> Why do I do that when this is wet? <laughs> I'm gonna try and uh, get this off. So just a second, guys. <laughs> I did it, guys. <laughs> It took a bit of doing, but oh well. So now I can get, just go over it, which is way easier. So I'm gonna dry this with my heat tool that I need to get first, of course. <laughs> well, that should do the trick. So now I want to go over it again. Is this dry? I hope so. Um, I'm just gonna mix some on my craft sheets. Because it is really, ah, really yellow. <laughs> can I do this? Sure, I can. Maybe it's a bit too much. Let's just mix this. Yeah, that's just way too yellow. Can I get some white? Oh boy, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Ooh. I like it. Well, isn't it amazing? Oh boy. Ah! <laughs> I don't think this is my, <laughs> my finest hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Uh, it's okay for now. I might just go over it with another layer if I still dare to do that. Let me just dry this a bit and see if I can get the paint from the other side. Oh, you know what? I think I'd better do that immediately. There's a pink and uh, yellow over here, a bit of yellow over there. Well, it's it's okay. It's not that bad. It's just bad. <laughs> Gosh, oh, and now my heat tool is falling. This is such a nice video. It's a nice start of my vacation. I'm glad I'm filming this two weeks ahead. <laughs> I'm holding on to my heat tool with my knee now. <laughs> boy. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Got it. Heat tool. Let's try this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, it's not dry yet. Um, uh, and this isn't dry either. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this to dry by itself. Clean my desk and try it again later because I still need to do the paper as well. So, uh, <laughs> clean my desk, clean my hands and try it again later on. Okay, so it's still not completely dry, but I thought I'd just try this again with my Arteza paint and uh, that's not enough. <laughs> okay. It'll probably work better. I'm just gonna put a little bit of yellow. Maybe that's way too much already. And let's mix these up. I hope this is enough because I always find it hard to do it again. Uh, this looks better. Does it though? Does it? I'm not really sure. I never have trouble painting, but today apparently I do. This is awful and I think the other side is gonna be so yellow. Now oh, well, let's just try to salvage this a bit. <laughs> oh, this is such a pretty, pretty little thing. Let's just see. But, uh, but I can do about all this. <laughs> I think I'll need lots of baby wipes to get this clean. Right, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this to dry and maybe I'll like it when it's dry or otherwise I'm just gonna put a little cute piece of paper over it. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. 
So let's try if the paper will go a bit better. <laughs> so I'm using my Arteza mixed media pad. Uh, it's a huge book and it's got these really nice pages. I asked Arteza to send me this because I want to make uh, art journals with it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I already cut out a few pages. This was 20... Oh, this was 16. I remember 16. 15, 16 centimeters by 22. So for me, that's over here. So 16 by 22 and then you just fold it in half. But because I think this is too small, of course, I want to make some more um, extra pages. Okay, so when you fold these, you've got this one and you put another one around it and another one. I've got four of these, so these are 16 by 22 centimeters. But then this doesn't work, as you can see. So what I do is I just put this in here. You can also do this with a ruler and a knife, but I don't have the strength to hold the ruler still. So uh, it'll go everywhere. So you just put it in here and cut off a lot of stuff. <laughs> but because it's so thick I don't think I can manage everything. So the last one I'll just do with scissors. Perfect! Almost perfect. This one isn't. It's going to be one of those videos, guys. Oh my goodness. Perfect enough. Uh, this is the last one. So, so now they're all the same size. Ha! So they're a bit smaller now. They're not 16 anymore. So for these pages, these are 16 by, I forgot, 11. No, by 10. 16 by 10. So I need seven of these. So I already got one, two, three. So let's do some more. 16 by nine. Okay. Haha. So what I like to do now is make the cover. Oh, wait. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> okay, now for the cover. So I'm gonna make this one salmon. Uh, is that salmon? Orange, pink salmon or whatever. So this is just a centimeter bigger. So this is gonna be 22, maybe 23. I think it's about this by 16, of course. So I'm just gonna make it one millimeter bigger. And then I am going to, I need to use a scoreboard for this, but oh well, what can go wrong? <laughs> okay, let's see if I did this okay. Does this still fit? Yes, it does. See, it's just a little bit smaller. I like it. This one is actually a bit too big. So, let's see if I can... I made it 16 and just a little bit, but I'm just going to make it exactly 16. Wow. So, no. And just a little bit. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> so now I am going to punch a hole in here. Actually, I'm gonna punch three holes in here. So I need to make sure this is in the middle. And you know, guys, you can do this. Oh, it doesn't fit. Let's take it out. You can measure this if you want to. I just like to get my pokey tool and just uh, make sure it's all a bit okay. And then just poke in, well, I think this is about the middle. <laughs> and then perhaps over here. And one over here. I don't really measure this stuff. But if you like, of course you can. I'll just make the hole a bit bigger. So now I need something. A thread with a ni nice color. Of course, I need to get one. 
Okay, do I have a color that will fit? So these are all my <laughs> um, cross stitch yarns. Is that what you call them? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, look no further. I have some colors uh, sorted by color. I bought loads of these for I think 25 cents each when a store stopped uh, being a store. I always take the wrong one. Let's see if I do it right this time. Yes, I do. Um, one, two. It's probably too much what I have now, but oh well. So what I'm going to do is first see if I can still find my needle and then try to get this through the needle. That's always fun. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Took off my glasses. So I want the knot on the outside. So I'm gonna start in the middle. See if I got them all. One, two, over here. And just leave. Well, I think I've got way too much. Oh well. And then this one. Go back through this hole. Put it tight. And then go back in in the middle. So make sure that this one. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> it's not the best day today. I can do this. I wanted to say make sure that this one doesn't go with it. But it did. Okay, I'm back. So, right, and then you go and <laughs> go back out again on this side. <laughs> it's very simple, guys, if you do it right. Uh, look, uh, that's what you get when you don't measure it. This part is way bigger than this side, but I don't really care. I'll probably go over it with some sticker or something anyways. So now I'm going to really pull it tight, make a second knot, which today is gonna be probably very difficult. Yes, it is. It's always handy to ask someone to help you, but I'm all alone. No one's here. And it is today, it's a weird day. This looks very hard, but it actually is very easy. Just ask someone to put their finger on there. And I'm gonna do an extra knot just to be sure. Guys, I need to take a break because this was uh, quite something. <laughs> I can use this one. I took way too much, told ya. So first I'm gonna put this in here. Oh, wait, wait, I have got a little spot for it over here because that's something you're gonna lose. So it's not really straight, it's not really... Oh well, but it's good enough. So, uh, oh look how great that looks. So I do have this and I do have a yellowish. <laughs> this thing, it's still not completely dry. So I'm gonna leave this to dry. But I do like the colors, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, right, let me just show you how I do this. So I had pink washi tape with this one and I thought maybe it would be nice to use blue washi tape with the other one. Uh, where did I... I already found some. But they are a bit darker. It might be fun, I don't know. Uh, I've got a Pikachu one. This one is really nice. It is very wide though. And I've got flamingos. I have pink flamingos over here somewhere. Well, you probably don't even see the flamingos. So I'm just gonna start with... Uh, <laughs> with Alice. I'm gonna start with an Alice one. Oh, she's so cute. So I hope this is a bit good tape. You never know. So what I do is take the first page. Uh, I hope it's gonna go all right. And put it on about half of the page. So half of your washi tape. And then cut this off, of course. Like that. Then you take another piece of paper. Now, this paper has a rough side and a smooth side, and uh, it's gonna. Um, there's always gonna be one side smooth and the other side rough. You can't help that. But oh well. It does. So it doesn't. I wanted to say it doesn't matter which side you take. So actually, I'm gonna put some glue on here because I think it might need it. So just a little bit. 
not too much a little bit of glue and then put this over here with a little um yeah a little bit in between so that's oh boy <laughs> a little how do you say that slit so i'm gonna do a bit of tape over there as well oh boy this is gonna work is it it's Ella's and it's so cute. So now I've got this. And um, let's just cut this. It is cute though. So let's cut this to size. Do you still follow what I'm doing? Because I'm turning this thing around and around and around. <laughs> now, come on. let me show you so you've got this little book and now you've got this way too long page you just fold it double make sure this stays on so that's why I have glue underneath and sometimes it just goes crooked a little bit but oh well I don't really might mind it's handmade so now I've got this long page see so I'm gonna do that with the next one and the next one and the next one so I'm gonna show you one more this is already a very long page with Pikachu now this one isn't the best tape as I can just you can feel it this tape is really not sturdy so I am going to put a little bit of glue over here you need to make sure it's not too much um, I'm gonna put this over here because I'm not sure if you can see it can you see it yes oh look how cute it's Pikachu and Squirtle so if you put too much uh, paint I wanted to say glue under it it'll just squirt out underneath haha <laughs> squirt it's squirtle <laughs> sorry okay so don't put too much glue on there so I can put a bit of glue on here and a little bit on here and do that again so I'm just gonna put it over here a little bit, uh, maybe a millimeter of room in between so it can fold. And a little bit of glue. It's very difficult. Some more washi tape. And you can just try to um, line it up with a little bit that you have left, you know, that sticks out from the other one. So then you know you're, it's almost the same. You're not going crooked or anything and cut this off again well you get the drift by now so the rest I'm gonna do off camera guys <laughs> because the uh, painting took a long time <laughs> okay so now you've got this one I just fold it double and make sure it's really oh did oh <laughs> I thought I skipped one but it's the other side look at it Oh, I want to fold it the other, other way. I want to fold it like this. So these are a bit smaller because if they were also, um, what was it, 11 centimeters, it would go way too much over here. And then it would, um, I have no idea how to say that, but it wouldn't work. So um, it's okay that it, this one is a bit shorter. Look at it. So uh, I'm going to do two more. One. Well, actually one more on this side, but this one I'm going to start on this side. I'm just going to glue it over here. And then with this one and with this one. Lots of fun. I'll see you in a... For you, it's just right now. For me, it'll be half an hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's now the next day and the light is a bit weird. It's... Oh, there it goes. It was a bit pinkish. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, this has dried, finally. Uh, it is not the be oh, not the best color, so I'm not really sure <laughs> about this. So um, anyway, I also fixed this book. It's finished now. It's pink, and I used all kinds of blue washi tape. So I've got Alice in Wonderland, and I've got Pikachu and Squirtle, some flamingos, more Alice in Wonderland, then just really nice blue washi tape, Alice, flamingos, and Pikachu again. 
So this looks really nice. So now I have a book like this. So this side opens uh, this way. And when you get to the middle of the book, it starts to open this way. And then I have seven of these pages. So two weeks worth of books. Yes. So I can st st stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I can stick some stickers on here, but I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm gonna figure that out during the, our vacation. And it is quite a bulky book already. Ooh, it just fits. <laughs> and it's gonna be even more bulkier. But oh well. More bulky, I mean. <laughs> so let's just... Um, you know what? First, I want to do something about this. So uh, I cut this to size and I mm, yeah, don't really like it. <laughs> So then I found this and I thought, yes, this one, this is it. So I took it out of the packaging and I wanted to take this off and um, everything is stuck on here. This is just a, what did it say, a ready-made page. I had not noticed that, so I have a few of these because I absolutely love this and I really do love this and I like this and yeah, it's already stuck together. So this is a complete finished page, you just need to put a picture on here. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this would look great, but I only have this little part. Yeah, okay, so that's not gonna be the one. <laughs> I've saved that up for, I think, two years to do something great with it, and it's just one page. So the only thing I could find that was reasonably nice is this. I'm not really sure about it, but it'll have to do. So I want to round the corners. Um, I've got my Zutter um, punch and I'm gonna put two together because it usually doesn't work with... Um, it still doesn't work. This stuff, this I have two of these, they just don't really work. You need to go over it again with scissors, but two pages do work a little, although... Yeah, I need to throw these out, to be honest, because they just never work. So let's do that by hand. I do have another punch that works really well with all kinds of papers, but I don't know where it is. Because, you know, <coughs> I organized my desk. <laughs> okay, let's glue this on. Let's just do it. It's not the best color, it's not really what I want, but I don't feel like going through all my papers and search for something. And it is really cute, so why not? I'm just gonna do it. Um, need to do it a bit straight, of course, like so, I hope. Oh, it's kind of nice. So there's not gonna be pockets or anything on here, this is just to make it look fancy. <laughs> okay, well, it is kind of nice. So now I need to make the insert. I am going to use this for that and this thing. So actually it's just measure it, measure how big this is. Well, that's easy. You just do this. And you, you take a pencil if you have one. <laughs> oh well, pen is okay as well. So over here, over here and over here. Something like that. Now I'm not going to make an envelope like this. I think I already told you yesterday. Well, beginning of the video. I want to put a, another envelope on it. You'll see what I mean. So, um, yeah, let's cut this to size. These things, I'm not sure about. I think I just need to get rid of them. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now what did I do? Uh, I've got stripe over here. And I've got a dot and a stripe over here, about, I think, maybe. Nope, just a stripe. <laughs> Let's hope this is okay. So I didn't measure it, I just... Oh, well, it's okay. So let's just fold this in half. I should have done it with a, with a scoreboard, because this paper doesn't fold that well. Oh, well. Let's see. It fits. Now I should round these corners, shouldn't I? Well, on the other hand, this doesn't work, but if I do this by... Uh, just with my scissors, it'll, it'll go... It not, it'll... It'll what? <laughs> it won't go straight. 
and now you see it just yeah it folds it double a bit so now for the really fun part can I do this how was this in here <laughs> I think it was in here and I'm back through well let's first do this okay back through here it could, it could it would have been nice if I had pink or something but I don't so oh well right put it really tight maybe too tight and then just tie a knot <laughs> just tie a knot it's really pinkish again isn't it? that's because I have pink uh, curtains lamellen I don't know what you call them in English uh, <laughs> And uh, the sun is coming through them, and that's just pink, really pink. So I think that's because that's why the light is a bit pink. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. If this stays on for a while, I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on for now. Maybe it's a bit too tight. Is it? So this can go through here. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't fit. Oh, come on. I rounded the corners so nicely. I'll just make it fit. <laughs> the best thing would be to just cut off a little bit of this. But I'm stubborn. I'm not gonna. So anyway, I'm gonna start. Which one am I going to do first? The pink one? So the pink one is gonna go in first. Hope that will fit. <gasps> yes, it does. Ooh. And then you have the green one in here. I don't really like this. I need to cut it a bit. <gasps> but look at it. Oh, you open this. Ta-da. You don't see this. It's too bulky. <laughs> Let's see if I can fold this. Because it does have folds that you can make it bigger. And now my battery is flashing. Let's see. Oh, look at it. That's better. I love it. So you hardly see this. But oh well. Oh, that's the cover. I think it's too big, guys. I need to I need to make it smaller. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, is there something else I need to do? Or is that just it? Oh, no, I need to put some pockets on here. So I'm gonna get those and then I'll show you the finished product. <laughs> okay, see you in a sec. So I cut this uh, a bit smaller and I took out the books and I found some really cute envelope so I've got this Hello Kitty envelope but this is the cute side so if you mm, yeah this is really cute so I thought I might put this one on here or on here you can just put little things in here and I've got some stickers I did find this one <clears throat> it was already cut to this size so oh it's not really straight oh well because I do have these cuties maybe pink will be way cuter I'm gonna do pink <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do pink although I do love the nerd glasses but I want pink then I do have some Alice pictures that I printed out one day and I do have my melody stickers and stuff and cute envelopes so okay so I might do this one over here or another one of this one and then over here put an envelope where I can put stuff in. This is cute. When you open it, you see this. Oh. And here Hello Kitty. And over here a tuck spot. And here another Hello Kitty. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or another. Yeah. So this one I want a bit smaller. So I'm gonna get another one of those. And I'm just gonna glue the lot on. I'm gonna start with this one. Let's just hope the glue stays on. So I'm gonna put this together 
Oh, and I also thought I might use this on the front, but first let me just put it together. So, uh, green over here. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! <laughs> okay, this one. Be careful for the envelope. Oh my goodness, look at this. How cute is this? So I can put a really cute sticker on here. Here you've got a cute Hello Kitty. Can put some stickers over here maybe one of these that says germany because the first week we're going to germany and then the second week we're going to austria and over here you have a tuck spot and over here you have a tuck spot oh that's so cute and then you have this really 70s like thing shall i see if i can put a sticker on here um These are very old, so I don't think they will... Uh, there's lots of glue underneath. I think it's too small, isn't it? Oh well. Yeah. Organizer. It won't be in the middle. Do I mind? <sighs> decisions, guys. Decisions, decisions. And do I do a pussycat? Or do I... No, I don't like this color. I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna glue it over here. Oh, I can put it in the middle. But you will see organizer. <laughs> so, oh well. Oh, it is cute and it does stick. So if it someday doesn't stick anymore, I'll just use glue. Do I like it? Do you like it? Let me know. I think I like it. So guys, it's finished. What do you think? I just think it's so cute. So over here I'm gonna write, I think 2019 or holiday 2019 or vacation summer. I don't know, something. And then inside you have this cute little envelope. Over here there's gonna be loads of stickers. And you have this cute envelope. Here I'm gonna write Germany and stickers and stuff. And over here I've got three pages for each day. So I'm gonna take my sprocket with me so I will have little pictures over here and loads of cute stickers and, and gel pens and stuff. So this is gonna be Austria and you've got lots of cute stuff as well. And then over here you have a tuck spot and another tuck spot. Isn't this just cute? I love it. So it's gonna be very bulky once this is finished. <laughs> And uh, when you're watching this video, I will be in Germany. <laughs> we are going on holiday, as you know by now, for two weeks. And I hope to fill this when we are there. Maybe I'm not going to do anything at all. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do it when I get home. But once this is done, and I really want to fill this because, I mean, it's really cute. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to do a flip through, of course, and you can see it. But maybe I might just film it. I don't know. Anyway, um, when you see this, we are in Germany and I'm not gonna upload videos for two weeks. I'm gonna take two weeks off, guys. I've never done that with YouTube. I always filmed loads of videos beforehand so I could upload when I was on holiday. But this year, that's just not gonna happen. So uh, when I'm filming this, I have a week and a half and I still need to get everything to go on holiday. And I still need to... Um, well, my desk is like this, but everywhere. I need to sort out a few things. So uh, I, I don't have time to film anymore. So this year I'm going to take two weeks off. So it's going to be quiet. Well, maybe it's going to be nice and quiet and peaceful for two weeks without my videos. But then, of course, I'll be back and I'll have a creative video every Monday and Wednesday. And then uh, an Alice in Wonderland or Disney video every Saturday. And lots of stuff in between because I really do need to declutter loads more so and of course I'm gonna show you my uh, holiday videos so yeah lots to come but for now two weeks of silence <laughs> so all that's left to say is thanks for watching and uh, from Holland greetings from Holland bye